So we have segment anything model from Meta, which made use of a VAT based image encoder to get image embeddings from an image and then a prompt guided mask decoder, which had a prompt encoder and a mask decoder, right? And using this, you could actually segment objects in an image. Okay. So then uh, from, you know, taking inspiration from segment anything model, there was this fast segment anything model which came up. Okay. So what they did over here is that they replaced this image encoder with the CNN based uh, model. Okay. Uh, so they made use of YOLO over here and using YOLO, they could get these masks of objects, right? And from that, they could get some mask embeddings, which they gave it to the, you know, your uh, prompt encoder and the uh, image encoder. Okay. And they could actually segment objects much more faster over here. Okay. They said this was 50 X faster than segment anything model. Now you have mobile Sam. Okay. So they wanted to see if they can actually, uh, you know, uh, make uh, what you call faster segment or segment anything model lighter so that it can run on mobile devices. Okay. So uh, let's look at a quick demo of that and then come to this thing. So here is the hugging face demo whereby first you need to load an image, add a mask basically, and then say start segmenting, you get this segmented images and output. Okay. Maybe we'll restart. Let's try out this image of a car. Okay. And then let's select a point over here. Okay. Let's wait for it. So first it needs to add a mask over there. Uh, let's wait for it. I don't know this time it's taking more time. And then I can actually do my segmentation. Okay, so this mask is added. Now I say start segmenting. Let's see. Let's wait for the output. Okay, so sometimes it doesn't work. I'm not sure for what reason. Maybe I'll again say start segmenting. Maybe I'm not doing it as per the flow over here. No, okay. I don't know. Maybe I'll restart, select this image, add a mask over here, and then do start segmenting. Okay. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I get the result this time. Okay, so it has done some segmentation but not proper segmentation. It is just segmented this door over here. Maybe I was expecting the full car over here, right? Uh, but in some cases I actually got the full car over here. So how is this different from say you are uh, fast segment anything or the original segment anything model? So simple trick which they have done over here is that they try to replace this, you know, through distillation, they try to replace this, uh, VIT based large image encoder with this VIT based small image encoder. Okay. While keeping the prom guided mask decoder frozen. So they just train only this VIT based small image encoder using distillation. Okay. So the same image is given as an input to the original SAM teacher SAM uh, network and you get an output. Okay. The, this image is given to the VIT based small image encoder from which you get embeddings and a copy of this prompt guided mask decoder is present in this uh, model over here and you get this mask. Now you can do model distillation or teacher guided uh, distillation of the student over here by just comparing this masks and through the process of this training, right? You can actually improve this. Uh, you can train this network over here. Okay through the process of distillation. Okay, that's what they have done over here. And for distillation, uh, 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 they also do, you know, this image embedding based distillation also. Okay, uh, for that they use the MSE loss over here. Okay, so this is what they have done over here and they call this as decoupled distillation for segment anything model. So this is the teacher model. 
okay this is the student model okay this is what they call as your mobile sam okay um so their project goal over here was that uh, the prompt guided mass decoder in original sam has less than 4 million parameters right uh, however the image encoder is on based on vith which is 600 million parameters so they wanted to reduce that image encoder parameter size okay uh, so this is where they did the semi decoupled or decoupled distillation which is quite clever and what was their final uh, model size over here okay so their uh, final uh, model size is somewhere present over here right see the original sam had an image encoder of 632 million parameter size a prompt decoder of 3.86 uh, 876 million parameters okay and the speed is 0 0.452 seconds whereas mobile sam the image encoder is just 5.78 million parameters um, the prom guided decoder is the same 3.8 and the speed is 0 0.08 seconds 0 0.008 seconds okay much faster than the original sam and even faster than fast segment anything okay so this is some clever idea over here and they show um, you know mask prediction with single point as uh, uh, prompt over here so this is the original um, sam output this is the mobile sam output over here right this is another example of an original sam output this is mobile sam input so they say that in most of the cases mobile sam performs on par with the original segment anything model okay so they are using two types of prompts point and box okay they have not done the text uh, prompt because the official of does not provide pre-trained models for the text mask uh, decoder okay so currently it is limited to just the your bounded box prompts or uh, point prompts okay so here are some more uh, this thing where they are using this mask prediction with box as a prompt right where uh, mobile sam versus original sam comparison is done so this is quite uh, an interesting work over here and uh, you know mobile sam is much more faster than uh, fast sam that's what they claim over here uh, you know more than four times faster than fast sam which itself was 50x faster than uh, you know sam in their claims so this is quite an exciting work you can go and check out this github you can set up this model locally and you can try it out okay you can also try out this demo which is available on hugging face i hope this video on mobile sam is useful for you uh, if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video